I feel like the best compliment I've ever received is you smell good. Hey y'all, it's your girl Shay Shay back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing my hygiene routine. Now, this has been a long journey. I've come a long way. And I really want to help y'all out because I found the perfect hygiene routine for me. Getting compliments everywhere I go. You smell good. I can smell you through my mask type of comments. So I think that I'm very credible. As a person who has dealt with like hygiene issues in the past, I really want to help y'all girls out because nobody wants to be out here stinking. That's just gross. Like nobody wants to smell stink. Like nobody wants to smell somebody who stinks, especially a female. I feel like your personal hygiene should be on 10, on 11, on 12 because we just need to smell good. Like nobody wants to be giving off those nasty odor vibes. Like that's disgusting. You want to smell good, especially like in the hotter months. I know it's a little cold now, but some states is still acting like it's summer so you know the vibes basically i'm going to show you my perfected hygiene routine what has literally gotten me compliments everywhere i go because i smell good now and girl you could do this on a budget so let's jump right into the video so i'm going to do this in the order of how i would put these things on in the shower so the first thing i do is clean my downstairs area my lady parts i clean that with this dove sensitive soap this is the best soap to use down there i was trying honey pot Everybody was hyping up Honey Pot, but I feel like I don't really like it as much. Like, nothing compares to my Dove Sensitive Soap Bar. This is very sensitive, it's very moisturizing, and I feel like it gets the job done. And public service announcement, you only clean the outside, okay? Where the hair grows. You do not put anything inside your lady parts. That is not okay, that is not good, and your pH will be thrown off, and you trying to smell all good up in there, it's not gonna happen, because you're gonna start stinking because you're not supposed to put anything in there. Your vagina is a self-regulating machine. It cleans itself, but the outer like skin part, I do condone washing that. I use my bare hands. I don't put no towels down there because no, I just don't do that. I use my hands and my Dove soap and it does the trick. So the very first thing I do is take this Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. Girl, this stuff is gonna give you that's how your body gonna feel, okay? I feel so clean when I use this soap. Like, it literally strips off all the dirt, all the bacteria, all the nastiness from your body, and you're going to feel squeaky clean. Pores are going to be open. Pores are going to be whistling. Like, whatever you put on your body, it's literally going to absorb and smell super good after you use this. You can literally see the dirt running off in the shower when you use this stuff. That is why I love it so much, and it gives you that cold, tingly feeling like, yes, I done cleaned my body. I'm done for the day. Like, that is what I like to feel. So, Dr. Bronner's. And as you can see, it's like really liquidy because I dilute this like a lot because this is a $13 bottle, but look how big this is. You can literally use this to mop your floor, to wash your dog, to clean your toilet, to wash your hands, to brush your teeth. So this is a really good soap and it will literally clean your body to the max. So make sure you're diluting it so you're not like messing up your skin. And I put the Dr. Bronner's on a little washcloth. And one thing that I do every day, I change my washcloth every day and I've noticed that that has helped me smell better significantly. I know some of y'all out there change it like every week and I was doing that, but once I started changing it every day, it was a game changer. We're not reusing towels that have dead skin and dirt on them. Like that's just not the move. That's kind of gross. I'm not knocking anybody who does that because I was doing that for a really long time. But if you're experiencing a little bit of must, a little bit of odor, change your washcloth every day. You can literally go to Walmart and buy a pack of like 20 of these for like three bucks. So it's affordable, it's cheap and just do it. So like, for the days that I'm not feeling like I want to be whistling and I want to be like pores open cold and everything, I will use the Dr. Bonner soap and lavender. This also gets me really like squeaky clean as well. It just doesn't give me that like whistling feel like my pores are open. Like, you know, on them days where it's like super cold and you're like, girl, I do not want to put that peppermint on because I'm going to be freezing when I jump out the shower. Or you're going to be freezing in the shower. This is like that perfect soap. Also, it smells like lavender, so it's super duper relaxing. And I feel like it also does a really good job of cleaning. I prefer the peppermint one, but on some days, I'm not trying to feel like a candy cane in the North Pole. So I do use the lavender one as well. Next, I use this Dove White Bar Soap. This smells so good. It's like, it kind of has that like fabric softener scent. 
I don't know, you just have to go smell it. Like, and one good thing about this, this soap is literally in the travel section at most Walmarts and Target. So if you want to try it out first, it's like $1.84. I know that price though. It's like $1.84. So you're spending like $2 on a little bar of soap just to try it out because it's literally in the travel section. It smells amazing. And even if you don't want to like go try it out, you can literally go smell it. It smells so good. I prefer to use this after the Dr. Bonner's because like I said, that literally strips everything. Dirt, oil, moisture, every single thing on your body. The Dr. Bonner's will strip from your body. So using this like nourishing bar afterwards, it smells really good and it really does like trap a little bit more moisture back into your skin because that is really important. We're not trying to be dry out here. Like we need moisturized skin. I feel like that is a big part of hygiene is like restoring that moisture because you do not want no crackly dry skin. So I highly recommend Dove Bar Soap. The sensitive one is really good as well, but I just really like how this one smells. And I also use my washcloth for that one. Now on days where I'm feeling extra, I don't do this every shower, especially like if I'm rushing or something, but on days where I'm feeling extra and I just wanna smell a little extra good, I do use like a Bath & Body Works little body wash. This is Champagne Toast. Girl, this is one of Bath & Body Works newer scents for like body washes. If you know anything about Bath & Body Works, you probably already have that Champagne Toast candle. But girl, they made it into a body wash, a lotion, and a body spray. We're gonna talk about layering later because layering is the thing to do if you wanna smell good, but we gonna focus on this right now. <laughs> so when I'm using a little body wash, I always, every time use Dr. Bonner's and Dove. And then if I'm feeling good, if I feel like I have time, if I just wanna smell a little extra good, I will add in a little extra Bath & Body Works soap. This is not the only one that I have, but this is the one that I'm loving at the moment. This is the one that like gives me that combination that everybody tells me I smell good with. So yes, I love this Champagne Toast body wash. I do not shave every shower, I just need to put that out there, but I will show you all the products that I use when I shave. First things first is this Tree Hut Bohemian Escape Scrub, it is the orange one. Now, I know that this is so overly hyped, but it is worth the hype. It is worth the hype. Your skin will be so soft after using this. I feel like I have really sensitive skin. Like literally, if I use something that is like too abrasive, I will come out the shower with little scratches on my skin. But if I only use this like once a week or once every two weeks because I have sensitive skin, it really does work for me because I don't need to shave every week. My hair doesn't grow that fast, thank the Lord. So yeah, when I use this, it does not like scratch up my skin like that. And it smells so This is the best smelling one to me. Like Nothing compares to the Bohemian Escape. This one smells amazing. This is like my fifth or sixth jar of this stuff. Like I do not play when it comes to my sugar scrub. Before I shave, I have to get that dead skin off so I can get the closest shave possible because this is the truth. I promise you. Next thing I use is this Equate Shaving Foam. This is the men's. This was 98 cents. Y'all be on here trying to use them $10 shaving creams like no sis. We are saving money. This is a dollar. 98 cents. It's the men's one and it really, it has like a very, very, very faint scent and it doesn't even smell like a men's scent. It doesn't really like moisturize your skin or anything, but I really don't care because I have products that I use outside of the shower that moisturize me. So I don't feel like it's necessary to spend a lot of money on a shaving cream when I can just spend a dollar on this men's shaving cream. I use this everywhere except my lady parts. I would never put anything like this down there. I also use that dub soap to shave down there as well. But this I use for like literally everything else. My legs, my arms, stomach, armpits, whatever else that I need to shave, I will use this Equate shaving foam. Also on my exfoliating days, I use this like back exfoliator just to get my back because I know it can be really hard to get your back with like a standard regular washcloth this really does help just because you can like literally take it behind your back and you know like you can actually like get the dead skin off I only use this on my back you can use it on different parts of your body because of like the way you can maneuver it and whatnot but I feel like this works really well to exfoliate your back this was only like a couple dollars so yeah. Okay, I'm going to move on to the products that I use outside of the shower. We're done in the shower and now we need to moisturize that body because this is also a very important step. First thing we're going to do is moisturize that body. I use baby oil. As you can see, this baby oil is like almost gone. This St. Ives Rose and Argan Oil Lotion, this smells amazing and it's $4 for this large thing. 
and it's actually very moisturizing especially when you add it with the baby oil whatever lotion you use you do not have to go pick up this lotion but whatever lotion you use use baby oil mix the baby oil in with each pump of lotion and i promise you you will be soft all day also for my ladies that have big thighs that have that chafe that chub rub that fire start in between your legs this will eliminate that i promise you get you some baby oil mix it in with your lotion that you should be putting on before you leave the house anyway and there will be no more chafe them thighs are not going to be rubbing together uncomfortably they will be smooth as a baby's butt promise you get you some baby oil another lotion that i really like is this cocoa butter this really does moisturize my skin and it comes in this really big bottle it lasts me over a month so this is one that's really not scented like i feel like this is perfect if you're going to use like a bath and body works lotion it's perfect to pair with something like this because let's be real bath and body works lotions do not moisturize your skin Yes, I said it. Somebody had to. This do not moisturize your skin. Like, I can put this on. It is a thick formula, and it's very misleading talking about some ultra shade 24-hour moisture. This is not going to moisturize your skin for two minutes. You need to add, like, an extra little lotion with it. It's all about the layering. This, this is how you make your cheap Bath & Body Works stuff last. You have to layer. I would recommend at least getting the lotion and the body spray. The lotion is what you want to put on last on top of your already moisturized body because this is not going to moisturize you but it will give you that nice scent that you're looking for and of course the last thing is going to be the body spray this is also the champagne toast body spray layering 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 i promise you if you're going to buy some cheap stuff like you need to layer because that is the most important thing that you can do when you're using like bath and body works victoria's secret stuff because let's be real like ladies body products do not last on your skin that long it's unfortunate but it's true and you just need to layer so this would be the last thing i do now on my bougier days where i don't want to use no bath and body works i use this viva la juicy perfume this is my favorite perfume. This is like the only perfume that I have actually because girl, I don't be spending money like that on perfume. This is like 40 bucks for this little bottle, which isn't like the most expensive. This is $16.50 and this is $40. Like that is a big price difference, okay? But it is the truth. It smells really good. It's my favorite perfume. All you need is a couple sprays on the wrist and the neck and then you can spray a little bit on the clothes if you want to feel extra. So it does last a long time if you know how to use perfume. This ain't no body spray. You don't... We're not doing that. We're using maybe six, seven sprays of this. That's it, we are not using 50, okay? And also it's in a really cute bottle, like pink is my favorite color, so why not? Okay, now that the body is smelling good, it's time to move on to them teeth, cause you do not want stink breath. Like how are you gonna come up to somebody smelling good and your breath stink? Make it make sense, like if you're gonna have good body care, you gotta have good oral hygiene as well. That is so important. That is the first thing that somebody is going to smell when you're talking to them because Nobody wants to smell stink breath. Like I just have to put this out there because so my favorite toothpaste is this Crest 3D White. Now this does keep the teeth white. A lot of people do ask me like, how do you keep your teeth so white? This stuff right here. It's in the scent Arctic Fresh. This is my favorite scent. I love this so much. Like I don't really have too much to say about it. It makes my teeth white and it makes my breath smell fresh. So that's all you really need to know about this toothpaste. It's really good. I highly recommend it. So after I brush my teeth, I do make sure to floss. One thing that my dentist said to me, he was like, only floss the teeth that you want to keep. That made me floss my teeth every day from then on. So basically, I use these like glide scope uh, floss picks. Yes, a little childish, but I'm not going to get a big old roll of dental floss and be pulling it and putting it through my teeth. Like it's easier to use the floss picks. I was using these since I was a kid because it was like really hard for me to use dental floss. And ever since, these are just really easy to use. So I really do love these. Next thing I use is a tongue scraper. This is essential. Essential. <laughs> this is what my tongue scraper looks like it's kind of like a little clamp one and it's metal so i feel like it's a little bit more hygienic than those little tongue brushes this one i feel like it really just sits there and scrapes off all that white from the tongue like your tongue should be pink when you walk out that bathroom when you're ready to walk out that house your tongue should be pink there should be no remnants of white on your tongue and the tongue scraper is going to do that for you okay the last thing I do is use this Crest mouthwash. I feel like this pairs really well with the Crest toothpaste. One thing I will say is that I only use this mouthwash now on days that I'm like gonna be staying in the house or like I'm just going to bed, I'm not really doing nothing because 
This does clean my mouth and it keeps my breath fresh and it also does help with teeth whitening but I have a better mouthwash that I really do like to use for when I'm like really trying to cancel that breath. Thera breath y'all. Thera breath. The green bottle. I also like the blue bottle as well. I've never tried the pink one. I've heard good things about it but this makes your breath smell so good and one thing I really do love about this is it doesn't have that like burning mouthwash effect like have you ever used Listerine and it literally burnt your mouth off yeah this doesn't do that like when you're swishing this around in your mouth it does have like a mouthwashy like taste I guess but it literally feels like you're swishing around like water in your mouth and you can swish it around for much longer because it's not burning you and when you spit it out it literally gives like this refreshing minty taste and feel to your mouth like it's just canceling out all of the odors and honestly I feel like it like stabilizes your breath throughout the day so if you literally eat like some onions it will literally like I don't know something about this will like cancel that out for you I use this when I'm like going out somewhere if I'm going to work like you know just when I'm like leaving the house and I'm like ain't no room for bad breath like we don't have time for her this is what we use and I know y'all thought I forgot deodorant, but no, I put my deodorant on completely last after I put my clothes on because the worst feeling in the world is getting deodorant on your black shirt. Nobody likes to get deodorant on their shirt, so I do like to do that last. And I just do the degree dry protection and shower clean. I've tried to venture out and use different sprays, different deodorants, different scents, and I've always came back to this one. I found this deodorant in high school and I still use it, girl. I didn't graduate high school about three years ago now. And this deodorant keeps my armpits smelling fresh all day, okay? I have no complaints about this. I guess the only complaint is that it does have aluminum in it and I know we're all on the hunt for an aluminum free deodorant because we don't want any of the damaging health effects that it causes, but sis, everybody who has tried natural deodorant knows that that ish do not work. So if anybody does have like a good natural deodorant that actually works, comment down below so I can try it out because I cannot get away from this dry protection shower clean. Like I really love this stuff. You've made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below. I hope that these tips help you smell good all day. I hope that you get compliments left and right that you smell good because this is what works for me. But one thing that is really important is that you have to find products that work for you. This has been a lot of trial and error. And as you can see, I like switch between different products depending on how I want to smell for the day, which is a little bit extra. I'm not going to lie, but it's just what I do. Everybody's different. Everybody on here has different products that they use take my advice if you use any of them comment down below and tell me if they made you smell good all day once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye